Rise. What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in the heart of Nashville for a multi-vehicle media launch from Toyota. And guess what? We have something totally fresh for 2023. This is it. This is a 2023 Toyota Corolla that has gone through some updates and some changes, but this is also a new special edition called the Infrared Edition. But before we get into this compact sedan that has that hybrid quality, let's talk about what's going on here. Corolla, that really is the sweet spot in their lineup of vehicles that has done the most for this car company over the years, selling so many of them and being that very dependable, reliable mode of transportation. Now, over the years, things have changed a little bit when it comes to the Corolla, but one thing is certain, still that deep down inside for very good driving dynamics, but also that long lasting operation. Now, this infrared edition is a special edition and it's got some unique touches, plus it's also hybrid setup. And the bigger news too, is you could get it also all wheel drive. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our bright white with the red accent Corolla and find out, is it the best new compact sedan to buy? And is it better than the Mazda 3? Let's go ahead, dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the look. It looks familiar, but there's some changes. Where are those changes? All up front on the front fascia. So you're gonna have new headlights, new headlight housing, daytime running lamps, turn signals, and those projector beam headlights. Working our way down, we got this nice, very flashy metallic black area. I am gonna zonk the fake vent. I wish that they would have put some actual fog lamps in there, but I do like the way that they have this corner splitter that extends out. Part of the infrared package is gonna be this red trim. And I love the way that the red trim follows the edge of the front fascia and it's got a nice metallic tinge to it. Coming across the front, you got that familiar blue Toyota badge saying that this is a hybrid. And remember, normally hybrids, they look like jelly beans, they're boring. This though, you get the aggressive sporty look and a special edition, but you're getting fuel savings that will make this second to none. Working your way down, nice large open grill area, that same metallic black setup with the infrared that goes all the way across. Look at the way it cuts around each of the edges. It really shows the attention to detail. Now, rising up, besides the blue badge, you got that same hood. So same exact hood as the 2022 model year, but everything else up front is new. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So when you go infrared, it's not just some stickers. You're actually getting new wheels. Nice multi-spoke design, gunmetal metallic gray finish. And what's wonderful, these are 18 inch wheels. 18 inch wheels, 225 on the width, 40 series sidewall. You get hybrid front wheel drive, or like I said, new for 2023, all wheel drive. Coming down the side, bright white on the mirror caps. Let me know if you think they should have put, and I'm gonna get this dead bug out of here. That looks kind of gross. There we go, almost as good as new, bugs not included. A little bit of red trim. Let me know what you think if some red trim should be on the mirror housing. I think that it would have kind of maybe just added a little bit of extra goodness. No sunroof. So you got solid roof. You'll notice that nice side sill extension with the black metallic and the red trim really follows the edge. So clean, clear, and concise. We do have color match door handles working our way towards the rear. Color match shark fin antenna. And from the side, it's pretty much your same Corolla that you've learned to love. Now, wrapping around the back, here we see more changes. Nice body color match trunklet spoiler, looking sporty because this is the SE. We do have our taillight design, and the bad news is we got bulbs in there. So they went with the old fashioned bulb setup. I wish it was full LED, that really would have brought it up to par. But we got our SE badge and hybrid. So this is something new for 2023 the Corolla badge, and then working our way all the way down. Even though it's a hybrid, I love the way you got the staggered exhaust on one side, nice round opening, stainless steel look, and check out this diffuser area. It looks like it's off a freaking race car. That looks pretty cool. But while we go ahead, let's talk about hypermiling this thing 
and pop the hood and check out the power plant of this infrared special edition Corolla. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have that familiar prop rod, but you know what? The Mazda 3, the Honda Civic, they all have prop rods as well. Underneath the hood, no plastic cover. That is your hybrid setup. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a 1.8 liter inline four, now producing 134 horsepower, 156 pound-feet of torque. It does obviously have that electric motor, and then of course, if you go all-wheel drive, you have that option as well. New lithium ion battery, the vehicle weighs 2,850 pounds, and then of course, the biggest news is what about MPGs? 50 in the city, 43 on the highway, 47 combined. Nobody else, including, including Mazda or Honda, has something like that in their models. And then of course, it is mated to a CVT. Now the good news about Toyota CVT is that it actually does have a first gear. And then the rest are the CVT components. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and see it in motion. All right, guys, we're inside the new 2023 Corolla, this one being an SE hybrid with the infrared edition. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at Civics, I've been looking at Elantras, Fortes, Sentras, and of course, the Mazda 3. I haven't been sold yet, but I'm liking what this hybrid brings to the table, especially with MPGs, and especially this infrared edition kind of makes it special from the rest. How much is it? So. MSRP for an SE hybrid front wheel drive is going to be right around $25,200. No official price yet for what the infrared edition package costs. Some people are speculating around $600. We'll have to wait and see, but we'll bring it to you. But at least $25,200 for the way that this one is set up besides the infrared package edition. But let's see what you get when you go infrared to the door panels. I like the clean style that you find just like in any other Corolla. Soft touch material, even the flat black on the door handle. There is gloss black, but the great news is that's where they put some of the red touches. I love that thin pinstripe. Just gives it enough little extra pizzazz, the red stitching. And then the door pocket is a little on the tighter side. So maybe one Nashville Buffalo burger and a bottle of milk to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, Everything else is the same, same dash. I wish, I'm gonna zonk this, I wish they would have done the red stitching. That would have been a nice touch, but we do have the JBL premium sound system. And then look what is all new for 2023, the new multimedia operating system. So if I go back to navigation, that is your new multimedia system that we first brought to you in the Tundra. Now you have it in the Corolla. You could set up all your different user profiles, just like in the big truck. But what I do like too, is how they have the actual uh, delivery system with the hybrid setup. There's your electric motor, there's your new lithium ion battery. And if you're wondering why the rear wheel's floating, remember front wheel drive car, there's nothing, there's no drive shaft or anything like that. So that's why they're kind of floating in midair. Working your way down, you do have your AC vents, but first I gotta show up the backup camera. I know that was something Lori specifically wanted to showcase. There's our backup camera, better resolution better resolution with those trajectory lines, which is nice. And then you put it right back and we're right back where we started, right on navigation. Working your way down, you do have your same AC controls. I do like the way it's got the LED readout, not dual climate, just standard, but it's still nice. Wireless charging down below. So they got you covered there, your drive mode selector switch. And then you'll notice when you go infrared, you're getting the red stitching on the shift knob. This controls that CVT. Remember first gear is an actual gear. Everything else is the, the same Toyota Corolla greatness. Two cup holders. There's your key fob. Flip it around. A little bland on the key fob. Definitely some of the other brands have nicer key fobs, but you get a nice high armrest with red stitching. Open it up. You got a 12 volt, a USB-C, and enough room for that infrared laser gun that you used to play with back in school that the teacher used to take from you because you would shine it in everybody's eyes and burn out their retinas. You could keep that in there for when you're in trouble. Seats, cloth, 
but the nice thing, nice material. I like the way they did a little bit of color just to spruce it up. You see the red, red and black, infrared. You have manual seat controls for the passenger and the driver. And then of course, for a compact car, you got a lot of room. But why don't you come over with the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of the infrared hybrid. Cool. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. One thing I want to show you is you do get the special infrared edition floor mats with all the red stitch work that adds an extra five horsepower, your manual seat controls. And then, I'm, like I said, I'm six feet tall. I feel good in here with the amount of space. Even the seats are nice and comfy. Steering wheel, I wish they would have brought some red. Where's my red stitching? Some red trim. Maybe even make the badge, the Toyota badge, red. I'm going to zonk that. Let me know how you feel if there should be more red on the steering wheel. Other than that, same basic layout. You do have manual tilting telescoping steering wheel. And then the dash is going to be that small 4.2 inch digital display and your analog gauges. You got your different modes. Real simple. That's it. Straightforward and to the point. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the back seat and see if your passengers are going to be scrunched up because they're sitting on a lithium ion battery. Let's go Hi find guys. out. guys, back seat time. And you know what? You're still getting plenty of space back here, even with the lithium ion battery. You do have plenty of headroom. Now, what I did was I left the seat exactly where a big, tall passenger like myself would be sitting. And you could see I still got plenty of leg room in here. The zonk is there's no pockets. So if you went to the Nashville Ren Festival, which is happening next week, and you have one of those big turkey legs, you're going to have to put it in between your own legs because there's no pocket to put it two USB-Cs so you know that the people in the back seat will get charged up. And then everything else is going to be your standard Corolla. Nice soft armrest, two cup holders. My only complaint is I wish they would do like a faux leather on the armrest because it feels like sandpaper. So I guess if you have like a weird piece of dry skin and you need to sand it off, you could do it right there on the armrest. And then you can slide it into the cup holder. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the trunk because I'm ready to go on throttle in this infrared edition. All right, guys, cargo time. Open up that trunk lid. You're going to be greeted to a mind-blowing 13.1 cubic feet of space. Very deep cargo floor. I like the way they got the nooks out. That's where you're going to put those big, huge boxes of Twinkies. The seats do the 60-40 split. And what do we have underneath the cargo liner? There is no spare. So something to remember, no spare on this SE hybrid. But while we go ahead, let's see if we could drive this from Nashville to Florida without filling it up with gas. Let's go ahead and see. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 infrared Corolla. This being, like I said, the SE hybrid. Let's go ahead and go on throttle. We're in sport mode on throttle. Wow, a little bit of a chirping tire. Chirping tire is a happy tire. And you are going to notice with that electric motor, that instantaneous push really helps out the inline four to get you going. Having that lithium ion battery pack helps lower the center of gravity, which actually helps with the overall handling of this vehicle, especially in the tighter turns. But really, really nice setup when it comes to this overall infrared edition. All right, guys, once again, a little bit uphill Okay, is okay with this hybrid. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle. So with the naturally aspirated engine and the electric motor, you are getting a linear torque delivery. Obviously not the fastest, but you know what? It does have some nice oomph off the line once you go on throttle. But really, other than that, it drives and rides really well very smooth and the fact that on the city driving you could get 50 miles per gallon that to me push, is mind-blowing because nobody is holding a candle anywhere near that now going into this left hand bend nice and smooth and controlled obviously we will be getting our hands on the all-wheel drive version but even in front wheel drive very, very balanced. And to be honest, I think the front wheel drive is still going to be the top seller, especially when it comes to price. $25,200 for an SE hybrid. And then, like I said, no more than $1,000 for the infrared edition. That's going to be my guesstimate. Now, you do get that normal sound from the inline four, but that's typical. 
and I wish, and I wish, and I wish that they would have gave us some simulated shifts. I think that would help with the overall driving experience. But other than that, I think the experience you're gonna love is how little you need to stop at the gas station to fuel up because of the great efficiency of this hybrid Corolla. All right, guys, one more time for the road. If you're ready, I'm ready. There's the road, let's do it. On throttle. So like I said, nothing that's gonna blow anybody's doors off, but that's not what this car is about. I think you're getting a nice sporty style, something different going the infrared edition. And it's just, I'm gonna keep going back to it. The fuel economy is crazy. And this is why I say everybody's in a rush to get an electric vehicle. Here we are in this sedan that gets 50 miles to the gallon. And obviously being a hybrid, it does have an electrified component. The best of both worlds on the brakes, really smooth. Remember, we got those nice 18 inch wheels and tires. I just want some simulated gears. The, the revs, when you go on throttle, it just, I don't know, it sounds a little bit like a lawnmower, for lack of better words. See? But overall, I think for the price, they're really coming in strong against the competition like Mazda. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review. I know we were gonna try to make it to Florida, but Lori and I decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and just fly back. So we're gonna get on a plane. I'll see you back in Florida. But before that, let's wrap it up from Nashville. I'm gonna see you in a split second. One heck of a fun-filled day out here in Nashville. I definitely wanna thank the whole Toyota team getting us access to so many vehicles, especially this 2023 Corolla SE Hybrid Infrared Edition. Let me know what you think. Is this the best new compact sedan to buy? And is it better than a Mazda 3? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We definitely got to give it up to Lori Givens Rady working that camera like a champ and that camera like a camp. But you know what? Show her some love in that Show us some love in that freaking comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do and sharing all the fun, especially on this Nashville trip. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.